Hello and welcome to Losing It With Shannon. I wanted to do a video on how I lost 60-ish or more pounds with Trim Healthy Mama. Uh, it's actually been over a year since I started Trim Healthy Mama, but it's not since my weight loss journey, which makes it really confusing. So I started, I Trim Healthy Mama is basically a low glycemic diet that where you separate carbs from fats. I have many videos on this channel kind of helping people along because I I know when I started Trim Healthy Mama, that's what I wanted to see. I wanted to see real life people who don't, who, you know, want to know about it. Especially, you know, before you go buy the books and stuff. But guess what? If you want to do Trim Healthy Mama, go to the library. You can probably get this one or this one from the library. Free. It's also on Hoopla, which you can use through the library for free. So, I started in December. I I evidently noticed I can't fully keep counting points the rest of my life. And plus, I still as much as I feel like smart smart points is much better than classic. At least for me, I feel like it can be more balanced. Classic or from Points Plus, it's still lacking. I really fully believe that we should be able to enjoy full fats within moderation. So I saw it on a my board and so I started to explore. I searched YouTube, I searched the blogs about any information I could find on Trim Healthy Mama. Could I do this for me and my family? Because guess what? The higher fat meats are so much cheaper than like ground turkey. So Trim Healthy Table happened to be on sale. So I got this book from the library. And that same week, I found Trim Healthy Table on sale on Amazon. Plus, I joined all the Facebook groups. That's another thing I loved about it. This is before I track by its update their community to be like this beautiful community thing. It's, uh, I wanted the support and community like there is. And trim healthy mama groups I mean that's why I post on here is to build a community to to be my own little Weight Watchers uh, meeting but I mean I don't get many views I don't really get many conversations or anything the same thing reason why I post on Instagram that's a part of my accountability it's not working as much as it probably could do for people that are much better vloggers and bloggers and what is it called you know, health spo people, whatever. I'm, I'm, I'm just a regular old person that's just talking to herself in an empty room. But I love that the for the Facebook groups on face on for Trim Healthy Mama are free, and I think they're always going to be free. There is a paid membership site that I might have forums in it. I haven't really explored it that much, and of course, I was not going to buy that at that time. But I would try these recipes over a few weeks uh, from the table book. And then I think I got my husband to buy me the ebook for cookbook. And I would try these recipes. And I did get collagen and I switched to pure, which I was already using Splenda. And I pretty much used brown sugar for only my oatmeal. And it was a really easy transition. Smart is also dings you on sugar so it was a really easy transition to switch from smart to trim healthy mama it's just uh i found a lot easier when i eat out or eat with family i just get the unbreaded meat portion bring my own veggies or eat veggies because you know if you ever eat out especially if you follow weight watchers or anything like that even though it's broccoli, it's going to be like loaded in butter or fat or something. Like you can taste the fat in your mouth and it tastes delicious. And it's just, I would, I would, every holiday, every time I'd eat out, I would hyper focus about what I was going to eat and if that fit into my week's points. And it wasn't good for me mentally. And so I would just, I just slowly tried recipes. I just slowly tried to switch my way of eating to a Trim Healthy Mom way. I, I mean, honestly, most of my meals before that were like crossovers 
or um, you know slightly off plain because I had sugar in it but I didn't use a lot of regular sugar anyways my coffee was pretty much on point if you use this book she talks about some people are successfully lose with Splenda so my coffee was still on point there because I used half and half every day I switched years ago just to save money <sighs> My, I had eggs in my oatmeal, so that was a crossover made to eat with egg whites. Uh, by the way, pro tip, eggs or egg whites in your oatmeal, best thing ever. Best thing ever to keep you full. Um, I added collagen because I'm like, could this help me stay fuller? And I really like collagen. And if it would help my knees and stuff, that's even better. Yes. Trim Healthy Mama uses a lot of special ingredients. You don't have to use the special ingredients, but it makes things easier to use the, uh, get things that are like the old things you used to use. Gluconamine. I could never find xanthan gum in the store, so I got gluconamine. And I think I'm saying it right for once. <laughs> I got, and I use that for xanthan gum. I finally found xanthan gum. It's like way up here or way down here. It's not eye level in the stores, and it's like by the, almond flour but those special ingredients help you recreate things that are normal or like normal I don't feed my children fully trying to mama I will say this over and over again I don't my kid eats school lunch I will give my kids lunchables my kid that was raised mostly Weight Watchers and THM style actually eats very well he he eats veggies like okra he sometimes will not eat bread. He will pick bread off some things. And uh, he he will try things better. My other one that I breastfed him on a standard American diet. I um, fed him a standard American diet. Lots of noodles. He's very picky. And he's slowly coming to terms with some veggies at times. Not every day. Oh well. So, by January 1st, I was actually in Trim Healthy Mod because around the holidays, they talk about the mini fuel cycle. So, I'd do the mini fuel cycle. And even though it was a nursing mama, I probably shouldn't have. It worked for me. And I lost 10 pounds that first week. So, I'm like, wow. And I realized my meal plan was completely Trim Healthy Mama. I didn't go out. I'm going to be Trim Healthy Mama today. It was an accident. I just did it. I still count Weight Watcher points, though. And I found out I still have to count points or calories every few months because then I stall. Because the reason why I'm fat is my portion sizes, especially over those fatty things. So every few months I really do have to track what I'm eating and be diligent about that. I had two or three stalls in the year that I followed Trim Heavy Mont. I only got off plan probably six weeks the entire year. Two weeks, I first was two weeks and the second was a... Uh, I got pregnant and first trimesters blows. I tried, but I couldn't do it. You can look at my other video about first trimester and um, eating. It's a uh, week 23 update. It is what it is. What I found out is non fat milk in my coffee is non plan. That's not going to set me off plan once. Eating that rice with my meal when I'm out, or half a piece of bread when I'm out, or that probably has cornstarch in it, gravy, is not going to get me off plan. And also, if I have one uncontrolled meal a week, I will not lose. But once I hit two off plan meals, like completely off plan, like, like all the fried food that's so bad for you, it's like that. By that second time, I like lose all control, and like for two weeks, I could not get back on plan. Back on back on plan. I love the thing about Trim Healthy Mama is even if you get off plan, they say over and over again, restart in three hours. I say that even if you're on Weight Watchers or anything, restart in three hours. Restart your next meal. Restart tomorrow. Don't sit here and eat a thousand calories of donuts because you had a full fat something and you feel guilty. Don't. Throw that guilt out the window. No matter the plan, just go back. Even if you're on ketosis and you've just ruined your ketosis, get back on plan. Get back on plan. Trust me, I've done this so many times. I wish I could have told myself that and really got through my school. Get back on plan. Even if it might take you a week. Get back on plan. Go. Go. And trust me, 
I struggled getting back on plan after my first trimester because it's so much easier to cheat when you're pregnant. But every day, every meal is a chance to redeem yourself. Go back. Go do it. You can do this. You can do You absolutely can do this. Find your favorite meals. And cook them up and enjoy them. Yum. So I had three stalls. One was in March. My kid started preschool. I was pumping for other children plus nursing. I was exhausted. So they say you need to sleep to lose weight. It's true. So I stopped pumping so that lowered some of that prolactin. And they do have things in the uh, Trim Healthy Nursing and Pregnancy Group about prolactin. So I cut down some cheese too. Cheese is actually the thing that's in common with almost every stall I've had. Too much cheese. Too much cheesy. Too much creamy. Too much cheese. It's about what I feel like Trim Healthy Mom does between the S meals and the E meals is the E meals balance out. Oh man, I just got an idea. I need to go raid my kids stuff for a great way to show the balance of THM. Especially like when I count calories. So having the S meals one day, that's going to raise my overall weekly calorie count up. But those emails through the week kind of balance it out. So for Trim Healthy Mom and your body, you have to find your balance. And guess what? This is where it makes it hard. Everyone's different and your balance will change. Especially if you're nursing, part-time nursing, pregnant. It changes. It could change monthly. It could change every six months. It could change weekly if you're pregnant. So you have to find the balance for you. So it's a lot of tweaking. But I think that's what makes THM beautiful is it is unique for you. So you can succeed. So if you won't be starved. You won't be hungry. So another one I found out the third time. The first time was my portion size has got too big in March. <laughs> so I started counting calories or points and... Once I started weaning in those portions to be more veggies, less big wallop of fat, especially cheese, I started losing it. I lose well on 90% THM. Once, once I go to those off-plan meals, I start losing control and I start not losing anymore. So for me, I can't go have a cheap meal once a week. I can have like a cheap coffee, like a Splendo with non fat milk in it, but not cheap meal if I want to lose. Another stall I had a few months later, three months before I got pregnant, was again cheese, portion sizes, and veggies. Veggies are one of the biggest keys to a trim healthy mama. Fill your plate with veggies. I try to aim a plate, at least most meals, half veggies. I'm not good with snacks. I'm not good with breakfast, especially if I'm doing eat breakfast. But you need those veggies in. That's going to make you feel fuller. I am a volume eater. I need a lot of food sometimes. I see some of these people on Instagram that are like, one little piece of chicken strip, one little piece of like celery. And I'm like, I'm starving looking at that. How are you full for three hours? You need to eat every three hours. On Trim Holly Mama, and you need to eat to keep yourself satisfied for those three hours. So, I mean, I mean that's one of the big keys, and you gotta find your your happy spot, which is hard. Again, you have to tailor THM to you. What I eat may not be perfect for you. What she eats may not be perfect for me, but it's finding your balance, which is why I think THM works for so many people, but that's why other people struggle, is they're not realizing that this is like a personal body experiment that you have to do on yourself every month or every week, depending. Because if you're eating only S meals, you're pretty much in ketosis, and that's not the point of Term Healthy Mama. You also have to have five to seven E meals a week. And also, guess what? Eating carbs and fats together is not off plan. It is on plan. It is just not conducive to weight loss, so. 
those are some of the th things that really affected my weight loss when uh, the, for the first year of Trim Healthy Mama. So I lost 60 pounds on Trim Healthy Mama. And pretty much it's like one of the big tips that I have when you're on Trim Healthy Mama is the same tip I have on the Weight Watchers. Eat your veggies and try to aim for your plate being half or more veggies. That'll fill you up and it's yummy and it's not a lot of car uh, calories. Oh, I learned to eat okra. I put in the air fryer some mornings and in 10 minutes, once everything's done, it's ready too. No muss, no fuss. Um, two, don't, I don't worry about exercise that much. I do now because I really love it and it helps my knees, it helps my shoulder. But it's not like end all be all for Trim Holy Mom. Lots of people lose without exercising. I mainly exercise to help my bodily issues. It does make me feel better when I'm on plan and I'm exercising, but you don't have to exercise to do Trim Healthy Mama. And also, if you are exercising, especially hardcore, you may have to tweak your meals and do more crossovers. One week I was doing serious, serious things and I had to really figure out my life there because it was hard, And but then the next week I wasn't doing it as hard, so, you know, it is what it is. <laughs> um... Any other tips I have when you start Trim Hell Mama? Start slow. Uh, when you look at these recipes in the book, look for these recipes that are NSI. Also, don't discount this big book. Like, you can skim through it if you understand the basic plan. But there's a lot of great NSI recipes. There's no pictures, so, you know, it is what it is. But there's some great NSI recipes that I feel like are a little simple. You don't have to live on smoothies or frappas or anything on this plan. I know people post a lot of smoothies and everything, but I barely ever cook smoothies. So it's cook. <laughs> cook, cook, blend. I don't hardly ever use that. It's just nothing. And also, if you're doing smoothies, you can use cottage cheese for your uh, protein in it and stuff away. Because that's another pricey thing. So, although... I have to say, I finally tried the THM Stevia, and it is amazing. It is worth its price, unfortunately. Pretty much the only two things I definitely will buy from the THM store is Baking Blend and that Stevia. That kills me to say. Used to be only Baking Blend. And I only keep that for special occasions when I really want something that's a fuel pull or um, keto-friendly. So... But lighter for me. Oh, if you have someone in your family that's on a special diet like keto and you don't want to just live on S meals, your fuelful meals are going to be your key to hold sanity. They can add fat to their fuelful meal. You can add carbs to yours. It's awesome. Also remember, if you have children, they need crossovers. So they need a fat and a carb together so they can get lots of good luscious fat on their body. I don't know if this is actually a helpful video, but those are some of my tips. Some things I've learned on THM. And I've learned, I've lost 60 pounds and I'm growing a healthy pregnancy. And uh, even eating THM way during this pregnancy, I'm having less heartburn. I hope I'm not gaining extraordinarily late amount of weight. I'm only halfway through, so I haven't actually got jumped on the scale, the scale the last two days. But, you know, fingers crossed I'm still at 208 or under, so... It does take some thinking, um, but it works once you figure out for your season what works for you, and it might change in the next six months or a year or something. I love how it's a bounceful diet. Is that a word? I don't know. Because you get delicious fats. You get delicious superfoods. You get the low fat foods. You get the high fat foods. You balance it out to get you in a calorie deficit and you get to eat eat and they they and the, I love the two things that they always say is veggies which is great for your body and also don't guilt yourself if you get off plan get back on plan but if the plan's not working for you and you're not diligent on it try to give one good week and see how you do give it two good weeks see how you do also, I have never been on a real fuel cycle. I've only done mini fuel cycles because I've been nursing or pregnant. You don't ever have to be on a mini fuel cycle, a full fuel cycle, unless you want to. 
if you are struggling and you've been on the plan for a while, feel free to do it, but you don't have to do it. If you are nursing over six months, try a mini fuel cycle first before trying a fuel cycle. Or that's what I say. Because, I mean, making meals hard. And if you don't plan out those mini fuel cycles, it will be a struggle. But when you plan them out very good, they are a cake to do. So, that is a little bit about my one year Trim Healthy Mama journey where I lost 60 pounds. And, you know, I hit 185 before I got pregnant. I've never been 185. Maybe when I was like, you know, fourth grade. So, to me, I love Trim Healthy Mama. I love some of the factors of it. I love the free community. I love the, um, the no guilt if you get off plan. I love how it's balanceful, whole, real foods, and superfood focused. I love it. So, I hope this helped you if you're thinking about starting Trim Healthy Mama. Uh, these are the books you want to look for or turn off the table, but it's in the kitchen, so I don't have it. So, I'll see you guys next time. Bye! Oh, don't forget to subscribe, share this video to anyone that might be interested in Trim Healthy Mama. Whatever. Do what you like. I also post my meals at Guy Tom on Instagram. So, I'll see you guys later. Bye!